Hello everybody, uh, if you read the title you know that uh, we're here to discuss what, like how, um, <clears throat> how playground games can go about kind of fixing the main issues with the Horizon games. And uh, firstly, we got the old 8.6 out, it's been a while since we've had this out and I don't know if you guys heard that, but my mic made a weird noise. Um, it's been a while since we had this out. Bring it on out, you know. Um, made this livery on the Sato, on the Sato, the Sato Corsa for the 8.6 and a cool alternate variant. Uh, that I should make on here too, but that's for another day. So, let's get straight into it. So, if you've been around a while, you've been walking this, this world for a little while, like I have, you would have been there in Horizon from the beginning. I remember when the original came out, and I bought Horizon 2, pre-ordered 3, 4, and 5. And this right here, wasn't always there. The, the houses were more of an addition into Horizon 4 that I think, though it's a cool thing to do, it's kind of taking away from what the game is. Because peak Horizon, everybody's always saying, it's back and forth between 2 and 3. And I think it's the houses, because what made 2 and 3, and even 1, so great was that like the festivals everybody was there in the online lobbies because you had to go through there to like do everything like these big festival centers you had an auto show in one building and <clears throat> garage and tune-up shop in the other except for uh, horizon 3 i believe they were both the same building so i feel like for horizon 6 you take away the houses and you have, like, everybody's at the festival, everybody's talking. There was a real sense of community back then in these games. I mean, like, there still is, but it's not as strong as it was before, I feel. So I think, like, take away the houses, and you're chilling. And one thing is, like, this house that I'm at right now, this isn't the main one I frequent, but, like, this is the one that everyone has that they can fast travel. There's not a soul here. I'm the only one here. I'm like, there's a guy down the road. Let's see what he's on about. Let's go see what this guy's doing over here. He's in photo mode. What's he taking a picture of? A transit van? Oh, that was weird. Anyway, so it's like the houses, I think definitely get rid of those because let's head over to the festival now. Because I guarantee you there's people here because of the drag strip and all. But uh, another thing that with the festivals, I did like it better when it was one centralized like festival. Although Horizon 3, it was very convenient to have, like with how big that map was. To have multiple festivals, so I don't think multiple festivals is the biggest issue. Another guy here, there's one guy, two guys, and one guy over here. Could be girls, you never know, or other stuff. But uh, let me get away from the festival because it's playing copyright music. But another thing is the racetrack at the festival. Great, it's amazing. I love that they did this, and. Another main issue I'm having with the Horizon games, this one especially, Horizon 5 especially, is the radio stations. Like, let me see. We're gonna pull up Google because I don't wanna scroll through them, but they're mainly like TikTok songs. All those songs on the radio in Horizon 5 are just like TikTok songs. Oops. Five pulse. Look at this. TikTok song. T 
TikTok song. I don't know what that is. Neither do I do. TikTok song. I don't know what that is. Or that. Okay, like TikTok songs. I think bass. Bass arena is really bad. guys, I can't spell today. Can I get images? Open. Open, damn it. Yeah, I don't really know, but um, Mixtape is a good station. I do really like this station. Mainly because it's the older songs from the original games. Like Horizon 4, Horizon 3, Horizon 1, Horizon 2, Horizon 4, Horizon 3, 4, 1, 1, 3, 3, 4. Like all of these are straight up labeled, like it tells you what games they're in. Yeah. Mixtape was kinda is kinda like my go-to station right now when I'm not playing on video or like if I'm not listening to my own music. But the original Horizon playlists, like Horizon 1, 2, and 3, bangers on all the radio stations. Just straight classics. Like, let me see. Can't remember. I think I listened to Pulse back then. Horizon Pulse is where it was, where it was at. Did I spell that wrong? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's see what we got. Is this a list? Yeah. This is not. This is currently. Where am I wrong? I think I'm here. Oh, what the heck? It's a CD. This is um, This is sick. Look. Walking on a dream. Banger. Don't Stop Color on the Walls, banger. Hawaiian Air, banger. Paddling Out, banger. Take a Walk, banger. It's kind of hard to read. Something Good Can Work, the Twelves Remix, banger. Uh, yeah, these are kind of hard to read. Is this it right here? I don't know, this is... Look, look at this. Come on now. Not bangers. Straight TikTok songs. Like, some of them are good. I got a couple good songs on there, but it's all like TikTok songs. Like, what's it called? The, uh, the one station is at the Horizon um, Block Party. Like, dude, every time I go on there, I feel like Lil Nas X is playing. That dude hasn't been relevant in years. Look at the Horizon 2 Pulse playlist. That's Block Party. Where's Horizon Pulse? I don't know, Horizon 2 Pulse, I think, had, um... It had Nitrous Man, that was a good one. Oh, here we go, here we go. Can't Beat the Old School, that's a good one. It's like, come on. Stray Bangers, Wolves, I remember every time that song came on. It was like, the songs were like songs you could vibe with while cruising. Like I guarantee you, I'm willing to eat the copyright claim on this video. Like bro, the Grubhub song, the Grubhub commercial song, come on guys. <laughs> back off it. It didn't take me very long at all to find like a TikTok song. Did not take long whatsoever. But I will say the this game isn't completely horrible. Oh yeah one more thing one more issue I have let me see if there's one active right now. Okay Horizon Arcade I feel like I'm always doing these things solo. Whenever I decide, like, okay, I'm gonna do a Horizon Arcade, 
and I only ever do them for the festival playlist because the stuff in the Forzathon shop, let's be honest, isn't that great. Um, yeah, these Horizon arcades, they ain't it. They is not it. What I did really, what I do really miss though, is the Forzathon live. So essentially, the Horizon arcade is supposed to be a refined Forzathon live. But I think it's the other way around. I think the Forzathon Live was way better every hour on the hour. Forzathon Live, you had like 20 people stacked up, ready to go at this objective. Just having a good time with like 20 people. Where these, I feel like it's I'm usually by myself. And if I'm not playing with like friends or something, it's one other person sometimes, maybe two. But the, man, the Horizon, the Forzathon lives were amazing. It's just, you, it's the same thing. Like you do these challenges and you get points for them to spend in the Forzathon shop. That's lightweight dookie. Like, come on, guys. The Forza Horizon 4 Forzathon shop was a was a banger. That thing was hitting every week. Now on here, not so much. And. Another thing is the backstage pass for Horizon. Um, that was only in Horizon 4, but the backstage pass I feel was like a really cool addition. You got like cars that you m may have missed out on and stuff. I mean, I don't think that that should be there in the beginning of the game, but more of like once the game is about a year, year and a half, maybe even two years old, getting towards the end of its life cycle, throw it in there. Nobody is like really big on gatekeeping cars at that point in time. At least most people aren't. But yeah, it's like... So it's whatever if people get backstage passes and... get those cars. And like, it's not even that the backstage passes were easy to get. <laughs> you had to like complete challenges and stuff to get them. Another thing that I feel like they're going wrong with a lot on this game, I, I, this season's kind of different because it's, I want that Porsche. Come this Thursday, tomorrow at the time of this video going up, I'm getting that car. That car's big sexy, okay. Now uh, moving on, <laughs> for example, the, I'm all over the place right now. The returning cars thing, let me see if I can find it, man this update was amazing, I missed that update. Oh yeah, for those of you who are newer, my account did get, like something happened, like it was happening a lot to PC players where their data would just randomly get corrupt, and they would lose part of their, like a, everything on their account data. I lost it midway through the anniversary festival. And that kind of irritated me a bit. I had to start over. I did it for you guys. Uh, where is it? Where is that car? I forget what series they dropped it in. But the 1973 Pontiac Trans Am. Let me just go to it so you guys can see it. 73 Pontiac Trans Am. It's, mine is green. Right here. This guy has been a day one car in every Horizon game, one through four. On launch, this was in the auto show. For some reason, this car doesn't get dropped in Horizon 5 till like a year later. Same goes for the 68 Firebird. I mean, it was only in Horizon 4 and it was a Forzathon car back then, but he's returning cars, man. It's like, I get it that they're, that you can't drop all the cars at once, but that's what like the first, like few months of the game is for. Drop those cars and then do the newer cars later. And as much as I'm bashing on the Horizon games right now, I hate them by no means. I looked yesterday, I have 1800 hours on Horizon 5 alone. I play the crap out of this game. I upload two videos a week on this game. So it's like, it's not even that I hate the game. I love the game. It's just that it's not what it used to be. It was a, they, back then, Horizons 1, 2, and 3, it was a music festival game that drove, the, oh yeah, you can drive cars. It was centered around a music festival, and it had racing on the side. 
now the games are all about racing cars and there just happens to be a music festival like it just there happens to be a music festival and I feel like the game lost its character so to speak like don't get me wrong the physics of the game like the playability of the game has come a long way and it feels great I just miss the old like character that the game used to have that it lacks now I feel like that that old like mentality of we have a music festival surrounded by like racing was it gave the game a different character and it really set it what? I swear people text me post random times about the most random crap um so yeah, that like festival surrounded by like a racing atmosphere is what set it apart from other games like the crew need for speed and like, all the a whole bunch of other racing games like, that were back in the day, like Test Drive and what else? Midnight Club. I don't know. There's a lot of racing games that I can that I can't think of right now. Gran Turismo is more of a sim game than it was an arcade. But like that's what set it apart, and now it's just another one of the bunch because it's a racing game. Oh yeah, it's got a music festival. Well, the Crew Motor Fest has that now. I think that Forza needs to go back to its roots, have it festival based, get rid of the housing, stuff like that. And yeah, festival based, actually put good songs that aren't just random TikTok songs, like hire somebody to make the song lists like they did before, that would be amazing. And it's like, just imagine, for example, Horizon 3, right? Like Forza Horizon 3 with this massive car list. Let me just come over here so it's a little more organized. But you get a ma absolutely massive car list like this. Like Horizon 5's car list in Horizon 3 would be so insane. I can put oh, it's a car pack car. Damn. I was like, oh man, I did miss something. But yeah, just imagine like this massive car list in Horizon 3. That would be insanity. I remember like when the marketing for Horizon 3 I think it was like over 500 cars. My mind was blown. Of course at the time that was what like 2016 so I was probably like I don't know like 14. But yeah probably around 14. My mind was blown. Like 500 cars? That's crazy. And now it's like we have probably close to like 900, 800 different cars. And the game just doesn't have the same soul that it had back then. Whenever this was been. Yeah, like the game lacks soul now. That's its main issue. Hey, for once I actually got a decent spin on video. It, like don't get me wrong, the game still has its own unique soul and stuff, but it's not the same soul that it had before and it can easily be tied in with the other driving games such as Need for Speed the Crew Motor Fest is really similar to Horizon and really the Crew Motor Fest did a really good job I think they, they got a nice music playlist it's very festival centered you spawn at the festival every time you log in decent cars but it's still not, they didn't do it the way the original Forza games did it. Because it's still, like, mainly about racing and stuff. But for those of you who have access to those original Horizon games, like 1, one and 2 mainly, 3, Horizon 3 is kind of where they shifted from the festival-based to car-based game. And it wasn't a horrible shift back then. It didn't really like veer its ugly head until Horizon 4 when they really, really pulled us out of the festival with the houses and stuff. So I think like Horizon 6, you get a huge map like this, because Mexico is massive. You get a huge map like this, 
same car list, like 800 cars, decent music, remove the houses so it's festival based, get rid of this Horizon Arcade crap, and put in the, like, put back the Forzathon Live, amazing game, amazing game, just, for those of you who have access to Horizon 1 and 2, I strongly suggest like making a new account because your old account's gonna have the stuff. Everything's unlocked. Stories progressed through. Making a new account, even Horizon 3, if you have access and you replay those games, you'll notice that the the festival kind of takes a front seat in the theme of the game. Like the racing and the cars kind of takes a back seat to that, and that was what gave those games the character that they had that the newer Horizon titles lack. And really, I think, like, bring back the wristbands from Horizon 1. I remember, like, getting, I think it was, like, every 10-ish levels. Um, it's like, you got a new wristband. I know I just went off the road right there, but I'm not really trying to drive too, too fancy for you guys in this video. Um, yeah, just bring that back. I mean, like, I get the 10 levels isn't a lot now, but back then it was a lot. So maybe it's like every 25 levels, you get a new wristband on her in Horizon 6. That would, that's the, it's the little details that mattered back then that the newer games lack. It's just like, give, give the music festival that front seat again and have the racing take the back seat once more. And I guarantee you, with good music, that isn't just like TikTok and Instagram reels, like short songs, like stuff that you see on those sort of things. You just get those good songs that aren't like just that. Like yeah, some some of those songs are decent songs. I'll give it that. But like everybody's hearing them all the time on those social media platforms, and they don't want to hear them anymore. So it's like just get get a good set of songs, nice map. Give that festival the front seat, get rid of the houses, I guarantee you, if they do that in Horizon 6, and it might even be too late for 6, so maybe like 7, that game will be amazing. It'll bring back the players that the recent titles have lost. I'm driving with one hand right now, which is actually kind of cool. I have one hand on the controller, I have my right hand on the controller, and I'm kind of gesturing here with my left hand. Which I know is pointless because I don't have a, a face cam, but I'm more of a, I like to... I'm, I'm an animated speaker, so to speak, I guess. And if they do that, if they do those things, like, it'll be amazing. Amazing game. Bringing back the soul that the old games had. Bringing back the player base that those games had. And it'll be great. And really, like, give us... The drive. Well, I guess the new Forza engine is gonna have different driving physics, so we'll see where that ends up taking us. But I think that like they have an opportunity to fix what they did wrong, and I know I'm not the only one with these opinions. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube. Oh, Horizon Arcade sucks. Forza Thon Live was better the houses are ruining the game it isolates everybody and the music is just tiktok songs i've heard these claims over and over and over by loads of different youtubers myself included i agree with these claims that's why i'm making this video to put to further drive that there is people like me who think like this and further push that out there so hopefully the message gets to the devs and even though my channel's little I only got like 340 subs at the moment my channel's little I'm probably this this video is probably only gonna get like a couple of views but I mean every little bit helps to fix this game because I truly care for this game this game's been around for a long time horizon 1 came out in 2012 I was a little kid when I first got that game I loved that game and horizon 2 and 3 amazing and then horizon 4 not that i didn't like it it's just like it became repetitive and if i felt isolated all the time playing that game like i didn't really run into other players like that just in public lobbies as to where on here it's just like 
it doesn't feel as amazing. Really? Even to further prove my point on the music, go look up the Horizon like 1, 2, or 3 Pulse playlist on YouTube. Listen to that while you're just cruising around in Horizon 5, and I guarantee you it feels like a whole different game. I do it all the time. It feels like a completely different game. It really like sets the mood, like gets you really vibing to the music while you're cruising around. So it's like there's definitely the fans are out there and people still play Horizon 3 to this day so I feel that if Forza really gets their act together gives that festival the front seat takes the driving gives it the back seat again it'll definitely be what this game needs to survive and continue beyond Horizon 5 and 6 so it's not just another shelved title. And uh, that's all that I really have to say. I mean, yeah, I mean, other than that, this game is great. I feel like even Horizon 5, they took away the houses, changed up the playlist for the music, swapped out Horizon Arcade for Forza Dawn Live, and you got a great game. Like, this is a great game, but I feel like it'd be even better. But, uh, that being said, let's, uh, let's do some donuts here in this frozen over lake. And, uh, well, just wanna, I guess now with that being done, I want to thank you guys for watching, listen to me rant for however long this video is, and uh, thank you guys for, yeah, thank you for watching again, hope to see you in the next video, and that is all for me today, whoops.